I guess in this video I am going to discuss about first and last value function in Oracle database. So at here I am using Tot for Oracle and currently working on Escort schema and here I am going to use EMP table. So let's see the record first inside EMP table. So I have select extra from EMP table. If you execute this query, this will display all the record inside the EMP table. Now hereafter I'm going to make the order by on DPT number. So execute this. So see right here. So department DPT number is 10 first and here 20 hereafter 30. Now hereafter let's write the query to find the first value or in the table. So I am going to use select statement. Here after EMP number and here selecting ename and here after repeat number and going to select start. Now here after let's use first underscore value. So this is the built-in function. So this will return the first or uh, first row in the table. Okay. So and I am going to pass ename. Now here after ename. So let's use over clause and here we are going to use order by. Order by and here going to use order by on sale column. Now here after going to give this one DSC. So I have to the highest salary that will pay first by using DSC function. Now here after from the table name EMP. So if you execute this query, so first add select EMP number, ename, DPT number and SAR. Now here after first value. So th that display first value of ename. So and here over by order. So over order by SAR columns. So that to display order by on SAR. That means the highest SAR that will come first. So let's execute that. So see at here the highest SAR is the 6000. And here that font enum at the first. In enum the escort is the first position. So that here the first value function it's a record returning escort, escort, escort for all. Now here after you can use add your alias also. So let's execute this again. See add here, name it's a display. So if you give add here only without to a DSC. So that means uh, here that uh, so if you don't give anything add here so by default it's a ascending order. So Saturday will display in ascending order. So according to uh, Saturday or ascending order whatever the name ascending order name so that display the first. So at here, see ascending order salary 800, 950, 1100. So at the first row, ename is uh, Smith. So that here, it's a uh, displaying Smith, Smith, Smith all. So here, this is the things. Now here after, let's uh, execute to this query. So at here, the job. Okay. So if you want to find first job, okay, in the table. So you have to pass only job. Now hereafter uh, first that so first that select all the columns hereafter first value. So I have order by SAN. So first that to the order salary on ascending order. So add to uh, first position whatever the salary is there according to this that display. So add here let's give add here job include the job column. See at here job so first at here 800 minimum salary 800 and job so it's a clerk so that it's a display clerk clerk or oh, here yeah. so this is the way we can find first value inside the uh, table now here after next thing is so I'm gonna do for I'm gonna going to find the first value according to DPT number so at here let's use this query. So at your in db table, I'm going to make 
go this one in group 1 group 20 1 group and 30 1 group so add here uh, I will find the first value here by the group so add here or uh, the highest salary is the 5000 so this group the first value is first name is king and here this is the uh, not a highest salary so first I am going to uh, give a uh, select search highest salary on first after that going to find the first value so add here let's copy that and here paste it here so add here going to use mp number enum and so not job not required and here after going to pause enum enum and over by order sap now here after as name from so add here we need to include partition clause so partition clause that take the data according to given the partition so i'm going to apply partition by on dpt number so whenever that found any or uh, so see at your team so whenever that found to uh, or duplicate value so that may that make in one group so that break one group here 24 one group and 34 another group and null for another group so according to department wise going to or display first value so need to use partition by clause so that partition the dpt number values 10 20 30 null in or different group after that to that going to find the first value so let's execute here so see at here in 10 or uh, so this the first the sad is in or uh, ascending order so 1300 250 and 500 now here after a uh, partition so for 10 one partition 20 one partition 30 one partition so i have first value so first value or uh, i passed enum column so enum here mirror is the first position so that here it's the display mirror now here after the next is in or 20 the smith at the first position so at it's a displaying smith so in 30 james is the first position so it's a displaying james so this is the way we can find the first value inside the table. Now here after if you don't give uh, if you want salary wise highest salary wise so you have to include at here B at C. So C at here 5000 has the highest salary and here the name is king so at here the first value it's a returning in uh, or at here king king so at here 3000 highest salary so it's a returning part part. So these are the things here yeah. we can find the first value of the column now the next is the last value so for last value let's copy this one and going to paste it down now here after just replace first with last now if you execute here this query so see at your cell so this is the ascending order now here so I passed at your job. So job at your clerk. So clerk it's a displaying. So at your it's only. Uh, so it, by using last value function, I'm not getting the expected output. So at your uh, inside to cell. So cell has the last value. It's there. Uh, job is the developer, but it's uh, giving me a different kind of values. So let's uh, replace at your uh, job with enum. So I'm going to give at your enum. So let's uh, write at your enum. Now here yeah, the enum is in the last is. So at your escort. So output should be display escort. But at your it's a displaying Smith, Jams, Adams, Ward, here Miller. So this is the output. So I'm not getting the expected order. The reason is. So if you don't give this one, so at here, if you don't, if you write to this query, so by default to add here, so order wise add here, it's a range. So range between unbounded proceeding. Here is the D I N G proceeding and here on bonded following so that means 
uh, unbounded proceeding. So that uh, is, uh, see at here, uh, at here I am getting the Smith. So the value unbounded proceeding. So if you execute this key, the same output it's a display. So here, uh, at here, this means at here range between unbounded proceeding. So this means the range at here start from this row, and here unbounded following. So that to So see at here uh, range between on so see at here in last two, the score is uh, displaying so at here when I include at here rows. Okay, let's execute that. So in the last at here it's a uh, score is there so that here it's a uh, displaying a score a score a score for everywhere for all. Okay. So if you give at your range, so range if you give, so see at your uh, escort one, escort one, escort one, it's a display. Oh, uh, that means uh, if you are using this uh, function range uh, between unbounded proceeding, so see at your in last. So in last to uh, at your when you use escort, so escort here. So the last value, so that here it's all displaying is got, but at a DPT number, so this uh, is at here it's a null. So that here in null, it's a count, it's a this is a scot and DPT is null. So here it's all displaying uh, is got, is got, is got. So but if you are going to use at your rows function, so rows function if you are going to use, so see at here. It's a returning at here. So here, uh, here, this is the last. So last value at here. It's a counting as uh, as got. Yeah. So that it's a returning as got. But if you don't include this one, so suppose uh, at here going to copy that one and here paste it down. So at here not to using this function. I'm not going to use this function now. If you execute, so actually I'm not getting the expected output. So the thing is, the rows start from here and end with this row. So that here it's a returning Smith. Okay. So I passed at here in M. So at here, or this is start from here and end with here only. So that it's a returning gems. But to win that font at here, duplicate. So add here uh, when that font uh, add here to twelve fifty twelve fifty. So see add here uh, in twelve fifty. So add here order by Saturday. So twelve fifty. It's a trash term. So add here. So in Martin and Ward, the last value is Ward. So that here it's returning Ward Ward. So when that font any duplicate values. So see add here adds six thousand six thousand. So it's a duplicate. But at here in the last value, it's a escort. So that here it's a returning escort. That means uh, the value start from this row and end with this row. Okay. So by using this function, we cannot achieve the output. So we have to use this inside or uh, here. We need to use at here rows. So we have to specify rows between unbounded proceeding. So unbounded proceeding. So at here rows. Proceeding and on borders warding. So till that go end. So that here it's a returning null. So add here this is a return last value. Okay. And by using range function. So if you're going to include the range. So execute this query. So see add here it's a returning. Yeah. Oh here this is the last value is the S got. So at here, its code is the last value, so that it's returning this value. So this is the difference between rows and trains. So at here, when you use at here range, so it will count with null. So but if you're using row, so it won't count with null. And here, this is the way we can find to last value and first value in Oracle database. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video.